Yes, it's the final unofficial run of Hai Yang's navigation challenge. What do you think, Ken? What do you think is going to happen? I think he's going to do a good job. Yeah? He's going to complete the course. You think it's going to climb the hills? Yes. Oh, really? Well, we get to follow it around this time. So that's kind of fun. I didn't get to stay on the course the previous times. All right, where's it going? The white bat, the white bucket? Yeah, top of that. That's good. I had a slate to keep it this way of the last five. Uh huh. So if, uh, so if you get a stuck, it will automatically increase the car. Cool. Yeah. We should have the bell with us, right? So one of us can play judge. Oh, I see, it's painted. Oh, yeah, we're not timing it. Well, that doesn't really matter. All yeah. right, well, look, straight through the mark. <laughs> straight through the mark. Joel's here. All right, now now where's it going, Haiyang? Going for that point. Damn, That's this thing rocks. Wow, look at it climb the hill here. Hey, there's the extra kick of power. Wait, so how high do you go with the power? What number? Uh, if it's a kind of stock, uh, I think for seven seconds, if you will increase power by three. Up to 10 or 11? Like... Uh, I think uh, uh, that, that's number two. Wow, okay, right in the mark. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that's the bell. So, uh, now where's it going? The max power, original max power is 5 or 6, something like when we do turn. Yeah. So it's become uh, uh, 8 and 9. Okay. So if we get stuck for uh, 7 seconds. Are we going up the hill now? Uh, go to the gate. Then go to that. So it's the same sequence as uh, the last run. Yeah, yeah. Don't be an obstacle. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's not make it harder than it is. Wow, this code rocks. Yeah, that would be kind of depressing if this works perfectly. <laughs> but you know what? I realized I was thinking about things on the way back, and like, I didn't realize that we could be here on Friday. You know what I mean? Like we uh, left yeah. Thursday. Yeah, we, we a whole extra day would have made a difference. Oh, definitely. Yeah. In fact, if we got, got coding rolling a week earlier, it would have made a huge difference. And where are we going? What half the teams, oh, so right. what half the teams kind of did what we did in, insofar as they, they showed up with minimal code and rode it while here. Oh, got it stuck. See what time was there. Oh, it's stuck? Have enough power to bet. Yeah, it's good what, motors. It, uh, it's it, already increased, uh, uh, increased uh, to eight, uh, eight nine. Is, is that as high as it'll go? Yeah. And it still doesn't so go? that's it. So it's just it's the fact that the motors just aren't getting enough power, and yeah. like even after turning it up twice. So that's you know what I mean. There's just these motors are physically not strong enough to. Uh, uh oh, robot. <laughs> I was mad at you for that. I didn't like that. I wish I had you in the like, picture here, like, Hayek. Like, oh, look, it does it again, though. Yeah, all right. It gets to the point where it wants to go up the hill. You know, because what happens is that this thing is it, too... No suspension. The thing is too... It's light on the ground. It's not... Um, what do you call it? Traction? Yeah. No, but yeah. that's not... It's not the wheels are slipping. This, the, this particular problem is not a suspension issue. No, it's the wheels don't have enough power to do it. Did it get it? It thinks it got it. Did it? Well, well I'm not sure. I think it's on the other it's side. Going back. It's going back. Going back. No, it's trying to wind around it. No. So just increasing the number. Uh huh. It's funny the way it always gets stuck uphill. I mean, so this is like quite repeatable. Look, it's doing it again. Oh, there we go. It's actually getting it. It's less steep over there. Again. Yeah, right. Where is it going? Just confused on the, the angle with the. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Yeah, now it's going to run down the hill. I mean, it actually works amazingly well. Like, you think about. If it was flat, we would have it nailed. That's yeah, or if it had more power. I mean, there's a lot of ways in which it could have. It, it, like, you could run power into these motors all day long, and it just. Seemed to have, or is it I don't think we're running. Uh, Which one? The one in the far back, the oh, one really? that looks really oh, that light. Looks like ours. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, with uh, that, that's actually solid wood. Although it looks like metal, it's painted, but it's just wood. Huh? Nice. It's a really slick robot. This, these guys are all from Virginia Tech. Uh, oh, those guys oh, no, are not. Oh, those guys the, are uh, the Michigan uh, University of Detroit of Mercy. Mercy. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, the ones. Well, oh, that's the ones 
Those are the guys with the loose Ethernet cable. Remember? Right. Right. What's going on, Hank? I got it. All you hung, ecstatically happy. Well, it's, it's fun to see this stuff well, work. It's, it's great that his code works. No question. We wrote great code. Yeah. Just, I can't believe the motors have let it down. Well, it, can't even it, it the thing is, it's not just the motors, Joel. It's the whole system. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The motors, I think. get the test them, Do you think if we, the if if we had. Loop, yes, and everything. that's right. We running the motors at our maximum torque, it would be enough to pull this robot. I do believe that. You know what we could do? Because no eels were there. That's right. right. So we still would come here with the same problem. Joel, if you want, what we could do to, to satisfy this particular question is we plug in the joy. I think we should come like the six upside down.